the question is how to use I know clone apps on Nokia 6.1 Plus or any other stock Android device. Hey guys, I'm Havil back again with another video. This time it is about Nokia 6.1 Plus and how to use multiple users and how to use clone apps on Nokia 6.1 Plus and other stock Android devices. So if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So now the question is how to use I know clone apps on Nokia 6.1 Plus or any other stock Android devices because other phones that come with custom, you know, custom ROM, they have this feature. Okay, some of the phones they have, but on Nokia phones and stock Android phones, we don't have this feature. So how to clone apps, right? Most of you are asking me how to use WhatsApp clone, right, or MB clone. So there are two ways. The first thing is that uh, you can use this kind of app, a third-party app that is called parallel space so here you can see that um, let me show you so here are the options which are available you can actually use any clone and you can install it and you can have a different you know uh, you know app or we can say 12 apps on one single device right now the thing is that if privacy is your concern then I won't recommend this uh, third-party apps right but if you want I can make a video on it now uh, how we can do it without using any third-party app like uh, we have this native feature that is called uh, you know multiple users so using this feature we can use two apps on a single device so let me show you how to do it okay so what do you have to do go to settings first okay then systems advanced and there you have you know multiple users okay so here you can see that admin that is already done right we have another user option that is guest add users so you can use you know uh, the phones through multiple user accounts so if you want to use the guest option you can do that or otherwise if you want to create another user what do you have to do add users okay then okay right after that what will happen actually the phone will you know um, go through the same setup that we do when we set the phone for the first time so you have to enter your uh, you know google id uh, fingerprint uh, options everything you have to do it from the beginning okay so now you can see that it has started so you can confirm like this okay it will take some time and you have to set up the phone like a new device like it can now check checking for update so after this you have to enter your email id if you have different id then you can use it or you can use the same id that's not a problem okay so let me do that after that yes i'm in as i was saying it will be the same process that we do in the beginning okay to set up the phone so you have to go through the same process again okay so here you can see that getting accounts info okay it will take some time accept okay so now you can see that you can use your you know fingerprint again set up screen lock you can use a different pattern lock different uh, fingerprint you know option if you want okay it's not a problem so that uh, different users will have different pattern locks different you know fingerprint id so that can be done with multiple users that is not a problem let's do this okay okay i'll be doing the same thing again it takes some time yeah okay that is done you can reset the voice assistant also if you want to set a different voice <laughs> that can be done also not a problem okay if you don't want then not then you just skip it not a problem so you can see that it is all set now so continue okay you can add another email account add another fingerprint you know change the font size change wallpaper review additional apps you can do this but if you don't want to then no thanks continue okay so here you can see that i have created another user on this device okay now the whole you know the user interface no apps will be there because this is a different login okay so this is a different login so uh, you have to actually 
install different apps now so this is the way that you can use two apps now what I can do now if you swipe it down like this here you can see these options this is the users option so you can switch between the users from here okay now the question is how to install another whatsapp right so what you have to do simply go to you know play store okay and then search for whatsapp okay whatsapp messenger and there you will have this option install this app okay because i have already installed uh, through my you know admin user now this is the under user and i'm installing the, this app again okay so you can see that it it has been installed now we just have to open it okay agree and continue if you want to back up then you know that's fine otherwise you can just continue not now okay then you have to put your phone number so the verification is done you can set up a with a different name I just kept the same name not a problem but one thing I would like to tell you that when you set up it for the first time uh, it will take some time because it updates all the apps all the Google apps uh, in your device so it takes some time so that is one thing that um, you know, you know, you know, it is a bit annoying. I would say in the beginning. Otherwise, it's fine. So now you can see that I have this app. Let's message someone. I just want to show you that whether you know different uh, apps can reflect different messages or not. Okay, let's do this. Some new available. Say hi. Testing. <laughs> he would be wondering what I'm doing. So let's do it. Again. now as I can show you that it is from this user the different user now let's log into the main user from here okay all you have to do swipe it down like this go to users now this is the current user now this is the admin so I'm switching to the different user now okay so it will take a few seconds okay now as I said you can use different uh, patterns but i kept the same now this is the another another app from the different users now you can show you that i can show you here samir right the message was different right same you know uh, contact but the message is different so here you can see that we can now use two whatsapp on the same device but all you have to do you have to actually create two users here and this is a native support so there is no problem of uh, you know any privacy breach because uh, you're not using any third party apps here and so you're not sharing anything with other apps okay so this is something that you can do as i have shown you just go to settings sorry um settings then systems then advanced then multiple users add a user set up the device like a new device and you are ready to you know toggle between um, these two different users and you can have different apps on the same device like i have two users now Havil Sagar admin the another one is Havil Sagar you can name it differently so that is on the whatever you like okay so i believe that this trick will help you to have two apps yeah, that same process can be done for whatsapp as i shown you uh, you can use it for fb and other apps also but if you don't like it there is a, another option that is this parallel you know app but this is something that i won't uh, recommend because your privacy is your concern then don't go for third party apps because you're sharing your data with other apps so go for the native support and that would be more secure okay and so i believe that this video will help you and if it helps then do hit the subscribe button and do share with uh, with your friends and help me to build our channel so till the next video cheers guys